payments are approved and Social Security SSI checks are going out today and you could receive a double check for the month of September of $914. I'll give you the details on that. Also, if we take a look at this. Social Security proposes update to SSI calculation, which could affect the way that you receive your SSI checks. If you do receive an SSI check, make sure you've watched this entire video. I'll give the entire all the details on that. And it is that time of the year again as the White House is calling for a short-term measure to not have a government shutdown. I'll let you know if the government shuts down, how it affects your social security check and give you some other important updates as well. Before I dive into the main content, if you appreciate the regular updates on social security, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more social security updates regarding increases, decreases, bills, and any proposals. Subscribe to the channel for that. And this video is sponsored by my company, Wise Sense. If you or anyone you know has poor credit and you want to raise that credit so you could get better rates and save thousands of dollars over your lifetime, uh, hit the link down in the description below. Schedule a free call with me and I could go over that. All right, let's get into it here, Social Security proposes update to SSI calculation. So this is the Social Security Administration. Let me get into the details for you here. If you're on SSI, this is important. Make sure you watch this entire thing here. So the Social Security Administration uses a different standard to determine supplemental so, uh, so security income benefits for people living in certain states. Now the agency wants to update its rules to treat beneficiaries nationwide more equitably. The agency is proposing a new rule to modify how it alters benefit payments for those who receive what's known as in-kind support and maintenance in the form of a rental subsidy. Under current rules, SSI benefits are reduced if a person is paying rent or shelter expenses that are lower than the current market value or what they pay or what they would pay on the open market. This is significant in cases where a person with a disability is renting from a family member Member, for example, who charges them a reduced rate. But due to court rulings, the agency uses a less stringent standard in seven states. Those states are Connecticut, New York, Vermont, Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin, and Texas. In these states, benefits are not reduced if a person is spending more than a third of their income on housing even if their rent is less than the current market value. The proposed rate published this month in the Federal Register seeks to expand the more lenient standard already in place in seven states to the entire country. So basically... If you're in any of those seven states, it's not really going to affect you. But if you're in the other 43 states, then they are going to use the rules from those seven states to apply for the other 43 states. If you're on SSI and you are part of the rental uh, subsidy, then this will affect you. As we see here, uh, Social Security Administration estimates that about 41,000 current SSI beneficiaries would see their monthly payments rise under the rule change by an average of 128 dollars per month. So that's the bottom line here. Basically, if you're on SSI, you could see a $128 per month increase according to this new rule by the SSA, the Social Security Administration. If you're on SSI, let me know your thoughts on that. Moving on, let's talk about this, the double payment and payments arriving today. Social Security supplemental uh, 2023 updates, first of two $914 check drops imminently as 33 states boost benefits. So what's going on here? SSI recipients receive their payments on the first of the month, unless that day is on a weekend or holiday. So if you're if you're getting SSI, payments are dropping today, September 1st, and September's first check will hit banks, um, but recipients will get two payments uh, for this month. So basically, or for, yeah, so instead of receiving October's check on the 1st, recipients will get their check for the month on September 29th because October 1st falls on a Sunday. So if you are on SSI, you're getting your check today, September 1st, and your check September 29th. Meanwhile, annual benefit increases in states will cause a boost in SSI payout of up to $140 for many recipients. The 
maximum SSI payment this year rose to $914 or $1,371 for a married couple, and the average amount is $550. So those are the numbers, those are the dates. If you're expecting a check, should come today as usual, and double payments for the month of September. Moving on, the White House calls on Congress to pass short-term spending measure to prevent a shutdown. So it is that time of the year. Feels like we just got over the whole debt ceiling drama. Now we have the shutdown uh, drama as well. So the White House on Thursday urged Congress to pass short-term spending bill to avert a government shutdown and fund key programs as lawmakers inch closer to a September 30th deadline. Although the crucial work continues to reach a bipartisan bicameral agreement on the fiscal year of 2024 appropriations bill, it is clear that a short-term continuing resolution CR will be needed next month, or actually this month. So uh, basically, when, how does this affect your social security check? Well, uh, in terms of a shutdown, let's just say the government were to shut down today. The first three weeks of the government shutdown, mainly it affects federal workers, but your social security checks should be good for at least the first three weeks. They're saying, uh, at least past articles, that after the three-week mark, things might get delayed. Uh, so hopefully we don't have to worry about that, and they pass some type of continued resolution so that everything is good. Uh, but this is another one of those big government problems where they could just keep kicking the can down the road where there is some type of short-term solution now, but then in a month from now, they have to revisit this and then there's more drama in Congress. So I'll keep you updated when it go what, what's happening with that, how it affects your social security check. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella. This is a tip of the day. I'm gonna tell someone what you should do. Don't let anybody tell you different. You are beautiful. You are full with excitement. You are great the way you are. Don't 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 let anybody tell you any any different. You are you are great the way you are. You are full with excitement, and you are great just the way you are within person. Bye. That's all I wanted to say for you and be yourself. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your support. If you like these regular updates, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know exactly what is going on with Social Security. I'll give you all the latest updates. And if you want to see the latest video on Social Security in terms of increases and actually a new bill, which could provide the biggest increase ever, you're going to want to click this video right here and I'll talk more about that. So click that video and I'll see you in that video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.